What is up guys and welcome back to Vanderham Farms. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how we plant our Pima cotton. Pima is a type of cotton that is uh, known as a more luxurious or more uh, valuable just because of its longer fibers compared to normal or typical P uh, cotton. Okay guys, so we just made it out to the tractor that we're using for planting. This is a 7230 John Deere. And the planter that we're using is a 1700 John Deere as well. Uh, so the tank that you guys see here mounted in the back of the planter uh, this is actually a mixture of fungicide and insecticide. So that's just going to help the seed so it doesn't get eaten by any pests or any animals. And then um, also to prevent any weeds from growing. So here you guys can see this is the vacuum itself. Uh, this uh, It's powered by a hydraulic motor. And then it goes through these pipes right here and fed into each uh, individual box. And inside there's two di uh, the disc that actually grab the seed and vacuum it. That way uh, it's placed exactly and we know uh, precisely how much seed is going into the ground. Here you guys can see this hose right here. This is how um, the chemicals are applied afterwards. And like I said, this little disc right here, that's just pressing on the seed down. That way it stays buried in. These are the closing plates. So they actually close the, cover the seed. And these ones will actually make a little cap above the furrow. That way uh, moisture is able to Go rise up. I'll go ahead and open one of these boxes so you guys can see the seed. So we're actually planting two varieties. Uh, this is the second variety. The first one already went in. It was a purple seed. I'm not sure the name. I'll look into it right now. But yeah. So they just finished up with their lunch and they're about to start going. Before he starts, he's going to just test, make sure that all of them are dropping seed as they're supposed to. So back in the day, they would have had a chain in which you turn. You turn the wheel or the chain. But nowadays, uh, he just hits the tap on the button up on the screen, and uh, the plates will actually rotate and drop a seed. There you guys can see the seeds coming out already. Let's go ahead and check that all of them are actually dropping. Everything looks good. So yeah, we went ahead and figured out that issue and uh, it looks like everything is working good now. So he's ready to go. Let me go on this side so I can show you guys what those front plates do and then also what the rear ones do as well. So they're just scraping off any dirt that's above. They look like they're a little high right now. Maybe it could be just because he's entering. But here you can also see the rear plates, how they're uh, capping each furrow. So here, this track that you see right here, this is 7230 as well. Um, and this attachment right here that they call, we call it a decap. So yeah, basically what it is, is just these bars that are getting dragged and knocking down that top layer off the furrows. So you guys, it's kind of hard to see the difference, but maybe here you can see how these are have little peaks while these other ones don't. Get up front. So here you guys can see these are peaks and there, this is already flattened. So we've already gone over it with this and uh, gone ahead and decapped it. That's what the process is called. And that's just so that we get down into uh, the soil where it's nice and moist. So, I mean, it's pretty hot today, but here you can see there's there's a lot of moisture right here already. <sighs> Otherwise, we'd have to go down quite a bit, dig. And this is basically what the decap does is, it'll take off this top layer that's dry and just leave it flat into the moisture where we could plant. So you can see right here, there's a lot of moisture already. So yeah, after we've also uh, gone ahead and made the furrows, we're going to go ahead and come with a Lilliston uh, cultivator, just to go ahead and break down all those clumps and uh yeah just to make the soil better for planting and then after we're hit it with the decap right before we plant that way we don't lose any moisture and the planter itself you guys seen has that uh place in the back that actually makes the cap again and what that does is help bring the moisture to the seed bring it up 
and uh, just help the seed germinate quicker. So here you guys are able to see how dry the dirt looks and then this is him actually going through and exposing all that moisture. So this is basically what uh, we want to plant in. Obviously the seed is supposed to be planted into moisture and this looks pretty good. For these fields, like I said, we set them up about back in November and then we irrigated about a month ago just to make sure that the dirt was moist. But obviously the tractor is there to get stuck if it was too wet. So we let it dry off for about a month and then we go ahead and start planting. So here you can see both of the seeds that we're planting. Uh, we're currently planting two varieties in our fields. We have a phytogen and then we also have delta pine. And the seeds are coated in uh, these colors, layers, and that's obviously one to distinguish the, the brand, but also it helps to uh, protect it from animals. Uh, that way animals aren't tempted to eat the seeds. And also it uh, helps the seeds actually uh, take in water better, and that way they germinate quicker. To plant cotton, you wanna be going in temperatures about 58 or 60 degrees or above. So that's the ideal um, temperature so that the plant germinates the best it can. And obviously uh, cotton is a warmer climate seed or plant, so it likes the warm weather. Today's a pretty hot day actually here. We're supposed to reach in the afternoons uh, 97 degrees Fahrenheit. So I mean, it's pretty hot, but I mean, that's not gonna affect the plant at all. It likes the warmer weather. Anything above 58 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit is good climate for planting. So we have all of our fields set up on 33 inch spacing. And we also have subsurface irrigation system on all of our on the majority of our fields so that really helps us to cut down our water consumption and we're also able to yield more off the water that we use so we do have a couple fields where we don't have that subsurface irrigation system so what we're actually going to do is just lay uh, a line of tape across the top once it starts to once the seeds have germinated and uh, that's how we're going to irrigate those fields that don't have the irrigation system underground so the benefits of having that subsurface irrigation system is uh, it's just as effective as the one on top. The only thing is we don't have to replace it each year. So right now it looks like you ran out of seed, so he's gonna go and fill up the boxes again, as well as uh, fill up on chemical. We're currently planting that uh, Delta line. Yes, yeah, so to go ahead and fill up the tank, it's pretty easy to actually have it plumbed up to where they uh, just hook up the hose here at the end of the planter. And fill up that tank. If I was wrong, it looks like he's just going to fill up on chemical. What he does is uh, goes ahead and turns on the pump to circulate in there. That way it mixes all well first. And then since it all mixed up good now, he's going ahead and filling up the tank now. This tank looks like it holds 150 gallons. So it's a pretty small tank, but we don't apply a lot. I'd have to ask how much we're applying per acre on that. I'm not exactly sure. I know for seed, we're applying 75,000 seeds. The population is 75,000. It's a little bit high. We'd like to be on the 73, 72,000. But uh, yeah, we're going a little bit higher on this field. So I went ahead and hopped in the tractor here with uh, Abran. On here, he's able to see everything. So on that screen, uh, this tractor actually has the auto steer. And it's also telling him all the pressure from all the seed and everything that he needs to see. Make sure he's monitoring everything correctly. On the other tractor that has the decap, uh, we don't running the auto steer or any satellite just because uh, you can see the furrows and uh, he just follows those tracks to knock down the top cap off those uh, furrows but he really doesn't need it on this one it is a little bit harder just to see since uh, the furrows have been knocked down it's kind of hard to see the lines and uh, we want to be more precise so you can see the decapping track they're going right next to us as well we don't want him to get too far from us just because uh, we'll start the moisture will start drying off since it's a pretty hot day today we're staying pretty close, just about two passes over. That way we're not they're not interfering with us and we're not interfering with them. And uh, yeah, we're still getting that nice moisture to plant the dirt, to plant the seed into. And I'll go ahead and show you guys some of the older, some of the first fields that we planted.
actually started planting last Friday. So today's Friday. We've been planting for a whole week. And uh, in total, I believe it's like about 1,500, a little bit over that acres that we're planting of Pima this year. And we had a total of four planters running. So we have two planters running over in the Latin Ranch, which is a, a ranch that's about five minute drive from here. And then here we have this one planter. And then also in Corcoran, which is about a 30 minute drive from us right here. Um, we're also planting 300 acres out there. So we have another planter running out there. So this is that first field that was planted. And in here we actually planted phytogen. So that's why you see this uh, purple outer shell. And here you can actually see the, the plant growing. So basically what's gonna happen, the shell is gonna open up and uh, this, these leaves right here will actually come up and uh, the, on the other side will actually be the part that goes into the root. So that's why they say that uh, cotton grows in like a, a hook style. So basically the, the seed will actually crack open and then uh, one side will start to come out and that's what the actual roots were attached to. And so this one right here was what I was actually inside of the the actual seed or the grain, whatever you want to call it. So that's why you see the outer shell right here on the side. And that's what it's going to come up after a couple days. So we'll go ahead and come, cover it back up to let it come out on its own. So after the field's been planted, they're going to actually come with the decap one more time. And that's why you see everything's pretty flat now. They actually went and took off the cap. That way it's easier for the plant to go ahead and sprout out. It's pretty windy, so I apologize for that. But the reason why we make the cap is just so that uh, it helps all the moisture go up towards the actual seed and it helps it germinate quicker. So uh, that's the reason why we go ahead and have that, uh, that those plates on the back of the, the planter so it actually uh, gives it that cap. And then yeah, we're, gonna, we're supposed to come back about a week later and decap it so that, that the, the plant doesn't have to work as much to go ahead and come out. All right guys, so thank you guys for watching. That's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys went ahead and enjoyed, please like and subscribe and share if you guys could. It really helps me out. Uh, we also created an Instagram account a couple weeks back. So if you guys would like, uh, go ahead and uh, follow me on there. See you guys in the next one.